Hello everyone, I'm SSR20 here, back with another video. My thoughts and opinion on SmackDown. SmackDown is over, but I don't want to focus on the ending. So here we go. One of the Usos were at the top rope, and Matt Riddle was trying to counter it. In order to do belly belly suplex or an RKO to end the match and win the Unified Tag Team Championships. Unfortunately, Roman Reigns came out. He came out to save his cousins, his bloodline brothers. Um, Jay or Jay Jimmy Uso doing their diamond move to end the match, and they count one, two, three. Matt Riddle didn't count. Matt Riddle was injured during the match. They did the X sign from the ref, so it's a real injury. They injured his hip, his back. Um, Randy Orton, after the episode ended, they gave it a, a fake injury to him, apparently. He, he's not really injured. He might be injured, but it could be a storyline injury. But anyway, Roman Reigns helped the Usos to gain the Unified Tag Team Championships. And now they're the top Tag Team Champions now. Will this end the brand split? I don't think so. I don't think so. As of now, no. Then, Roman Reigns decided to attack Matt Riddle for what Matt Riddle did to him from last week's episode of Surprise Kick from Matt Riddle. Then Roman Reigns pushed out Matt Riddle off the ring and he tried to set up the table for the Usos to dive over the table. Old school move that we used to see a lot back in the Ruthless Aggression and everything that had to happen. Then the Usos beat up Randy Orton with the steel steps through his gut four times or five times. Then Roman Reigns set up a table, the announcer table, to put Matt Riddle on it. Then one of the Usos died to Matt Riddle when he was already injured to increase more of his pain and suffering. Then Roman Reigns does a submission on Randy Orton and screams in agony from Roman Reigns. He's anchored towards Randy Orton. But this is different. Many crowd in the crowds were crying like they never seen this type of action. I get these are children, children has sympathy for humans. They think of like their childhood he heroes get beat up. You know, their kids, they, they will grow up with these people, okay? Matt Riddle, we already grew up with Randy Orton, right? It's like passing the torch to future generations. Showing my kids, my future kids, to Triple H, Randy Orton, John Cena, Undertaker, whatever they might like. They were crying for Randy Orton and Matt Riddle. Like they were already part of their childhood, which they are. But this is the same company that used to have very bloody matches. Okay, very bloody matches, deep storylines. Deep everything, okay? We have Brock Lesnar being up. Many people make them bloody as possible. Did, did children cry in that time? Maybe, but in their houses. The other day at the time was not PG. It was very mature at the time. So kids at that time were at home watching the program. Not in the fan stands like now. We open, so. But I did not cry when there was bloody matches.
because we men grew up with violence, sexual content, and many stuff, even though we're not supposed to watch those type of stuff. Kids of today don't see violence, extreme violence, wrestling anymore, because dirty is PG and AEW is not mainstream like WWE. Maybe it is, I don't know, but it doesn't have the huge popularity that kids know. Kids of today, what they think is WWE, they don't know AEW, they don't know Impact Wrestling. They don't know New Japan wrestling. There are Americans, you know. I mean, there's some kids that know a ton of wrestling. But only these kids just play Fortnite all day, or Call of Duty, or Grand Theft Auto. Even though, why kids, if kids plays these type of games, then why they cry over this? Again, they can't cry whenever they want. Even the grown fans who probably watched the Ruben's Aggression Era are crying. I get I get these are human beings, but what Roman Reigns did was very, very heelish, you know, very, very bad. And that's good. We need drama, we need emotions into wrestling. And Roman Reigns did great on that. We need heels to become true heels, like Triple H, like Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton back in the Ruthless Aggression era, Edge. These people may to be hated in those times, you know. I never liked Triple H in the 2000s. I always thought this guy was pure selfish human being. Same goes with Ash and Randy Orton. Randy Orton used to be hated. Now people love him. If I was Randy Orton, I would portray Matt Riddle to add more trauma, to add more emotions to the fans. If Randy Orton wants to be one of the best heels of all time, he needs to betray Matt Riddle again. Matt Riddle. And become a heel again. That's what he needs to do. We need to heal Randy Orton again. We need that. So we can have more emotions. And more interaction from the fans. And that's what we need. I applaud Roman Reigns for doing his job as a heel. It's then being a freaking coward and making people over him as a heel. You're a bad guy. You're supposed to make people hate you. That's your job. That's what Triple H did with this Katie Big storyline and, and being up Randy Orton or Ric Flair or Batista in his heel run. He's supposed to be the number one cockiest man in sports entertainment. We need that. Even The Rock in 03 was the best heel. He didn't need ask his and to the fans to be great. He was already great. Bad or good. But he needs to do well as a heel. This ending was not that bad. But in the end, wrestling needs more action. And I plan Roman Reigns. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.